Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Here we'll take a look how to create this page view effect where you can slide from one page to another and you can also click on the dots and that will take you to a new page. So without further ado, let's get started. So we have a stateful class over here, page view demo. Now inside this, we'll declare a couple of variables over here. Now, as you can see, the first one is page controller because we are going to deal with page view. So we have to have a page controller. And over here, we'll refer to the initial page zero, which means the first one. And because we also want to keep track of the active page, so that's why uh, we have this variable. And now we'll have three pages and uh, we put them in a list. And because there would be any kind of widget, so over here, we return a list of widgets over here. Now, these three pages are not there yet, so we're gonna make them now. Go ahead and declare them. So first we'll go down and declare our uh, page one. So this is our page one over here, as you can see, and uh, inside this simply we show a page view text. Now we'll go ahead and do a second page over here. So this is our page two, and over here we set a different color, and we just call it green page. You can call it anything do see that these are all stateless classes like page page two is a stateless class page one is a stateless class anyway so now we'll go down and do page three so here is our page three and we also have a text over here which is called a blue page so that we'll have different colors for each page now after this we see that our errors are gone now since we are done creating these pages now we'll work on the body section over here inside this uh, scaffold because we want to have our pages and dots overlap each other. So that's why we are going to use a stack widget. Inside the children, definitely we are going to use pageview.builder. And this is the core of this tutorial, pageview.builder. It is a property controller and it takes a controller. And this controller we have declared at the top, as you can see. And after this, uh, because we want to change the active pages. So each time we slide to different page, we want to see them. And so that's why we save it in a variable. In fact, it is the page number. So for first page, it would be zero, second page one, third page three. And then as usual, like any other builder, we have this length. And then inside this item builder, we just simply return our pages list. But of course, each time it would just return one of the pages over here. And we are here using modulus, so the first value for this would be zero which refers to page one the second one should be one which refers to page two and third value would be two and which refers to this one over here now let's go ahead and run our app and we'll see that we have already changes now this is the first page we see and uh, right now we can also drag them as you can see all right so we can drag them left and right so our page view is already working now so as i said that early so this is the core part of page view now we'll go ahead and work on the dots over here now right below this page builder over here we have declared this positioned widget now we refer bottom zero which starts from here left zero right zero there's two places and as well as we see we have a height which is 100 so this is 100 now as you will see that over here we already have a value but of course this is not how we want to show it so we need to change this section so first we see zero now as you change you it becomes one and as you change more it becomes a two but of course we want to show dots not the text itself so inside this container child widget we need to change it now you see that inside this position widget, instead of text widget, now here we are returning this row widget. Now we do have some basic properties that we set. And after that, as children, because we want to use three dots, three of them. So that's why we're returning children and we are generating them dynamically based on pages dot length value, which would return three eventually. Now inside this, we have this padding widget because inside list or generator, you have to return a widget so we are returning a padding widget so that each of these dots they have some space on the left and right and then we have this inkwell inside inkwell we are using circle overture to 
show the dots in a different color like a red color okay but of course we can slide left and right and we don't see that any of them are changing but if you try to click on them it doesn't work so we want it to be workable as you click on the dots as well so that's why inside this inkwell over here we are going to use on tap event now on tap event inside this we use the page controller which has a function and the function is name is animate to page so it becomes a clickable and because we can animate and we want to animate so we set the duration property and this is the animation type now let's save it and now if you're going to click on this we'll see that we would be able to jump to different pages and which is awesome the next thing we want to do over here change the color because if you are here it should be the active color and these are inactive colors so we need to change the colors over here let's replace this colors.red using a conditional check so our check is we keep track of the active page remember active page we can keep track over here actually and uh, based on that we check if the active page matches the index over here then we show one color otherwise we show a different color so let's reload our app now we see that this is uh, active page and it has a bit of yellow color now if, we, if you go to different page it changes you can click on this and go to another page and the color changes well if you do, if you if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button thank you